He started off, when he first started getting it, he had one of those, now he's got all of them. They're going cheap, folks, going cheap. Grab, grab him, grab him while he can, that's it. That's it, you can stop breathing in there, Tex. Have I got to get out the other side? Hey everyone, so you've seen the fun, you've seen the frolics, and you've certainly seen the forms from the vlog. Now it's time to see what we got. So as part of our tour of London Lego stores then, the first place we went to was East London, to Stratford, Westfield at Stratford. It was a pretty good store as it happens. So anyway, Tech, tell us what you got. So I was pretty tame, like we said, we had the mentality of, uh, we're going to three stores, most of the stores are gonna have the same stuff. Uh, there'll just be like a few things here and there that we uh, that might be a bit different, mainly like the pad wall as well. Uh, so I was pretty tame at the first one, didn't spend too much, um, I actually bought, the, uh, these monkey kid poly bags now um, I've got uh, some ideas of some video content I want to do with these in the future um, so I didn't just buy one though I actually bought like 10 I think it's really? <laughs> so, you bought 10 rain in monkey kid poly bags how on brand <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, well, you uh, basically cleared them out of them you should have got a special offer was it like buy 10 uh, get a Ninjago set free or something like that <laughs> <laughs> I would have I would have said that they could keep the Ninjago. <laughs> uh, I um so yeah, so that's all I say all I bought. They were down to like two forty nine each, so um just spent twenty five pound on these Ninjago uh, these Ninjago. Oh god. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Cut that one out. Wish for these monkey kid poly bags and uh and yeah, that's all I bought. So what about you, Greg? What did you get? That is all you got there. Bar me. I'll tell you what, I, well, I went in there for straight away, folks, and I was I had to look around, but you see, I I'm a I am am like a couple of years old and young tech. I really am. Believe it or not, I really am. Uh, okay. and, uh, <laughs> and so I thought to myself, do you know what I'm gonna do? My strategy uh for buying Lego on that day was to actually I'll get most of my Lego at the last sort of store. So I thought I'd start off small and build up to it. So I got myself some uh, some pad bricks. So the first thing I got was, I just got one pad brick, one sort of pad cup, jug, whatever you want to call it, folks. Let me know what you call these down, of course, in the comments below. Um, but I got myself some plates. I got some two by two bricks and I got myself an absolute bundle of one by two dark bluish gray tiles because you need them uh thank you tech especially when you do your pavements uh, and your block paving yeah. and stuff like that yeah um, but they look really good for block paving and if you're a city building um you'd be surprised at how um how many you get in a cup and how like little you end up using if you're like doing, doing it in front of a module or something you don't actually go through as many as you might think so yeah no and, and I, so the, just a little tip for you folks out there and i've got to be honest tech gave me this tip right always feel the bottom of the cups right, with the smallest objects that you're going to purchase, the smallest kind of Lego elements, because it makes sense, because the way they've designed it, got a bit of a vacuum going on there, Lego. That's a little bit naughty of you, isn't it, doing that? So anyway, get the smallest parts, a bit like studs and things like that, and use them. Of course, something else that was going on on the day, I've got these as well, they're a nice little close-up there. I do like my blue bricks. Blue, favourite colour. You might have noticed that, folks, with the backdrop. But anyway... Mm -hmm. Uh, so anyway, so on the day, wasn't they tech? On the day, because of um, because of the lockdown and spreading germs and stuff like that, what they're doing is, uh, as a rule, they're giving everybody if you buy some, you know, buy some uh, Lego from the uh, pad wall, uh, they'll give you a free scoop. Mm -hmm. yeah, just just to make up for that fact. So what I did on my again my strategy, and again this came from tech because tech knows a few things about the pad wall. He really does things that really one shouldn't know. But there we go. Uh, I got myself some of these, some plates, because uh, they're not particularly great uh, sitting in a cup. Uh, so that's why I've got those, folks. I've got a whole bundle of loads. I've got loads of them, actually. And I've got to be honest, the staff there were awesome. Uh, and you know what? They're actually quite generous uh, at the Pebble at the moment. So now I feel it's a pretty good time to get yourself down to the Lego store and get yourself some stuff from the Pebbles.
So next on our Lego store tour, uh, we ventured down the central line and got ourselves to Tottenham Court Road, got off there, came out. It was blooming baking, wasn't it, Tech? I mean, it was a really, really warm day. I think it was something like 25 degrees, which when you factor in the, the fact that we've actually just had really poor weather for the last kind of, well, May really was just a bit of a write-off in all honesty, folks. It really was. But anyway, we got out there, got slightly lost. We went across TK Maxx, where if you look back on uh, one or two of Tech's last vlogs, you'll see, uh, I, I say it was an adventure, personally speaking, I say it was a bit of a misadventure uh, <laughs> with, with, with his jeans. Anyway, never to be seen again uh, in, in, a, in a poor old London bin, uh, probably. <laughs> but anyway, we, so, uh, what did you get from there? Was it a pair of shorts, was it? It was, it was kind of very yeah. tight, thinly cut pair of shorts, wasn't I, it? They weren't tightly cut. <laughs> they weren't tightly cut at all and i purposely wanted to get trousers because i knew you would have said something straight away but my hands are tied there weren't any nice trousers and i do you know what i was glad because that first vlog that we did together that was a that was another warm day wasn't it that was a warm day every time yeah. we meet up it's very hot yeah i'm just yeah. throwing it out there folks you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway so we, we 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 ventured across london we got slightly lost went past tk max even popped into west elm uh just had a, kind of a, a perusal around there all their kind of office furniture uh, for the cabin anyway that's a story for another time folks uh then we ventured on to leicester square the flagship uh of of all lego stores worldwide and quite frankly folks i'm practically in there every couple of weeks or so anyway so i feel quite home from home when i'm in there but anyway tech what did you get in there my friend so um as you may have seen on greg's instagram live stream um they were discounting uh, a few sets they had like a bit of an island of uh, of sets there there's some hmm. ninjago stuff on there um some city stuff i think some friends stuff um but they also did have a couple of monkey kid sets on there um Ooh. so they had the flaming foundry uh no i think it was just the flaming foundry and mm -hmm. the uh the monkey kid brickheads so i picked up three of the monkey kid brickheads um i've already got one um and i've built it um i do want to keep one sealed and then brickheads always seem to be a pretty good investment uh they're small they're cheap to post uh, so I figured these would be three good sets to get. And like I said, for seven ninety nine, I think they were, Greg? So they were, they were seven ninety nine reduced down from a tenner, I think they normally tenner, are. Aren't yeah. they? So, so not too bad. So that's nearly 20%. Oh, but yeah, 20% off. So that's uh, that was a pretty good start to the haul. Yeah, um, really good More start. Monkey Kid stuff, as if I didn't get enough. Um, I picked up another four um, <laughs> Monkey Kid Bolly bags. So yeah, be, uh, be on the lookout for that, uh, that content coming in the not-too-distant future, I hope. <laughs> and then we ventured over to the pab wall where the lovely assistant Sarah helped uh, me and Greg out. So I got three pab cups um, with assortment of pieces. I got some um, tan snot bricks. I got some black two by four bricks. Um, I filled it up with some quarter dark bluish gray tiles, round tiles. Um, we got some uh, some lavender blue pieces. I think they are in here. Okay. Some more black pieces. A uh, load of tan plates. Uh, one, a couple of pieces that they did have, which was really cool, were the red uh, like corrugated panels. The one by five by five. Oh, I saw those. Yeah, we were chatting five. about those, weren't we? Yeah, they come in the uh, drone copter for Monkey Kid, and so they could definitely be used for some like cool container mocks or something like that. I thought. Mm to have um i also topped that up with some black dishes and they also had blank yellow mini figure heads so yeah. um i'm actually going to be working on a project that maybe i could get some of these printed with some cool stuff so that was definitely uh something that i was just like right i saw them i definitely nice. see them um and like i said sarah was very generous with the free scoop and uh, I ended up getting a decent amount of these um, medium nougat or nougat uh, plates. Like Greg said earlier, the plates are the best things to get on your free scoop because they don't fit in the cups too well. So that was what I got from Leicester Square. Oh, that's pretty cool, mate. Well, like all good friends, I kind of followed suit with him. I was thinking to myself, how can I do this, right? Because everyone knows how I feel about Monkey Kid. I actually quite like Monkey Kid, folks. I think it's really good. So I got myself two of these. I got myself two monkey kid uh, brick heads. Um, of course, they're not actually monkey kid. He is the monkey king. He is. He just happens to be in the monkey kid theme. Just one of those things. Can't always get it right, Lego. But anyway, there we go. Um, but he is one of my favorite brick heads that I've got. And he's quite tall, actually. He's got these kind of big feathery pieces that come out the top. And of course, he's also got uh, his staff as well, which is pretty cool. And I'm a big fan. I actually, I, I, I grew up watching 
uh, uh, Monkey Magic when I was a kid. So I actually really like Monkey Kid and hopefully, you know, it still sticks around for a little bit longer. Um, but anyway, like you, right, I've already got it. And uh, I bought a couple of those just for simple investment purposes. Um, a bit like, you know, Speed Champions and stuff like that tech. They're easy to sell, quick to post, yeah. you know, easy, easy to sell on. Uh, when the time is right for that. So I've got two of those. And of course, keeping with Monkey King, I've got myself a couple of these. I mean, basically, I've got to the checkout. I was just literally going around the last bend, thought to myself, that's it. That's all I'm going to get. And then, no, Tech pointed these out to me. <laughs> and do you know what? I'm actually glad, Tech, that I got these because they're only they're only £2.50, right? And, uh, and they come with just 24 pieces, which is pretty cool. Um, but what you do get with them see the eyes there folks they're actually exclusive to the set so i think completely worth getting as well and if i keep mm -hmm. that poly bag at that angle for too much longer people are going to think i've got a monkey's head <laughs> on top of my body we don't do that do we ted um <laughs> but anyway talking to sarah lovely sarah at the pad wall she gave us all them and she even said herself this is like eye candy uh, this is look at this one because it's, it's, it's like one of those um, like sand things you get when you go to the Isle of Wight. You know, it's got different colored sand going across. And she goes, It's easy on the eye. Now, I'm pretty sure she wasn't talking about me and tech and uh, more referencing what we had in here. But anyway, what I got from her was, and I tell you what, what I like to say about Sarah is we got a lot of different things from mm -hmm. Leicester Square store. And, and, and do you know what? She, she, she took her time with us because we were fooling around, folks. We're not the easiest of customers, we're really not. Uh, so thank now. you. Sarah. <laughs> Dream customer service. It really was, folks. Great stuff, um, so yeah. anyway, so I got myself at the bottom there. You'll see some uh, dark blues, grey pizza slices. I thought they might be useful uh, for something. I got some uh, snot bricks there as well. Some one by ones. I got some olive uh, foliage. We'll call that. And because I want my city, London, it will be back, folks. I promise you. Uh, I got some swells as well. I'm not quite sure what they're called. I saw your eyes rolled in tech. And uh, <laughs> I got some uh, sort of magenta, which you call that? Dark red snot bricks as well. Yeah, uh, dark red. And then just to top it off, I got some two by four uh, bricks in there as well. And just like before, uh, when they say to you, what extra ones would you like to go for? I went for the plates. You can't beat the plates, folks, because with the city, when I do uh, a bit of a Ligondon reboot, it's looking quite likely that I'm going to go down the Mills plate route. It really does. And there we go. When you go down the Mills plate route, you need lots of plates. So anyway, that was Leicester Square. So after Leicester Square then, it was back on the old central line towards Shepherd's Bush over at Westfields. But on our way there, we popped into game. We saw ourselves some pretty decent uh, discounts going on in game, didn't we, Tech? Yeah, so they had like a really small Lego section there, um, probably maybe 15, 20 sets, if that. Yeah, um, and there was a little sign up that said 20% off of all Lego. So not only did both me and Greg get some great finds from there, we also got them 20% off. So what I managed to pick up was this 2019 Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. It was yeah. £15 uh, with a sticker, but with a 20% off, it worked out like just over £12, I think. So yeah. really good deal on that. Um, not something that I plan on opening. Um, but yeah, I saw it there. I thought that's a good opportunity, and at some point, uh, probably around Christmas, I will uh, I'll sell this on. So, what about you, Greg? What did you find from game? Well, I, I got myself I got myself a really smart little set. It's probably something I'll probably build this week or maybe next week by the time you love a lot of seeing this anyway. Uh, from Overwatch, it's this one tiny little set, but it's one that I always regretted never actually get it it's called the tracer versus widow maker set number 75970 comes with 129 pieces now ordinarily speaking this would retail at 12 pounds 99 look even says it just there and then it went down to 9.99 but with the 20 percent off it went down to 7.99 which isn't bad actually because it comes with two decent little minifigures in the form of tracer and the widow maker as well and i was well pleased with that because you know when you always think oh i wish i've got that set because you, you just can't get this for love nor money without paying those 
way over the top anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad I got it. Now, I don't know anything at all about Overwatch, folks. I really don't. But what I do know about Overwatch is that they make pretty decent Lego sets. I've got some good fix for them. I've got, I've got quite a few Overwatch sets. Have you ever gone into getting many of the Overwatch sets, Tech? No, I, I may or may not have got a couple of the figures because I think some of the printing's really good on some purest customs that I want to do. But uh, yeah. other than that, no, I didn't dive into the sets. Um, I did remember seeing a lot of them. That one with like the red and brown pillars. Uh, yeah. With the guy in the suit. That was always on sale at Sainsbury's. But yeah, I didn't really see too many of the other sets about. Um, no, they've got great figures in there. It is some really good mechs, um, but I don't know. I mean, I thought there was going to be another wave to come out from them, but we haven't seen anything yet. But yeah. anyway, as always, folks, do, do let us know what you think about Overwatch. Do you think it's over with? Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, that's Overwatch. And that was game over uh, for the gaming shop anyway. Next up, we actually then went on to the Lego store in Shepherd's Bush as well. And that, I've got to be honest, it, it was, it, it was it's quite a nice compact store bit of a queue on the outside there was and everyone was kind of being ushered around bends and turns and all sorts of places uh but overall you know what it was all right the queue was probably 20 minutes waiting to go in wasn't we yeah and you spent about 15 minutes of that trying to work the vending machine so it's <laughs> <easy, really. laughs> yeah it's only because he he used it before me folks and he wouldn't accept his credit card I don't know, something about there being no money left in his account or something like that but anyway uh, i had i had to wait for it to reset before i could actually get myself a coca-cola and if anyone's wondering by the way right if anyone ever sees us out on the town or anything like that tech is very much your man for diet cola but whereas me of course I like me full fat cola. <laughs> anyway, it's what made me laugh. Uh, that was good fun though, mate. But anyway, what did you, by the, by the time we got in there, uh, what, what, what did you end up actually getting? So uh, I saved uh, the sets that I knew I wanted to get on the day uh, for, for Shepherd's Bush because like I said, it was the last stop. We knew we were going to end up there and the chances of them having the sets that we wanted mm -hmm. were pretty likely, especially looking at the other stores. They still had loads of stock of them also. Uh, yeah, so I actually went in, um, and picked up the rest of the Disney 4 Plus sets that I uh, still needed. Uh, so this is the uh, Mickey and Minnie's Space Rocket. I know Cy built this on the backlog a couple of weeks ago. He did, good. he did. And that is that is a really good set. It is a really good, got some fantastic prints in there. And I also think that the, the, the Minnie and Mickey look awesome. I really, really like really it. Cute. Yeah, really, really cute. So glad to have this one onto my collection. Um, mm. And then there was two more of those little mini sets. So we've got Minnie Mouse's ice cream shop. And this comes with another variation of Minnie, which is really cool in a like, yellowy dress there. And uh, also get Daisy in that one. Um, and that bow piece looks really cool on the top there. I think that's some form of fabric, a bit like the capes or something. But... Again, these four plus sets, uh, no stickers, all prints. So we get some really good prints in these sets. Mm. Um, and then the final uh, one is um, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck's farm. Uh, so this comes with a nice little tractor for Donald. You get the horse in there as well. <laughs> Sheep, chicken, bunny, uh, and yeah, some really cool barn printed pieces as well. So, I mean, with these sets, I'll probably end up parting most of them out. It's, it's, it's yeah. just for the figures that I wanted them um except for that propeller plane maybe i'll keep that propeller plane because that's pretty cool um, yeah that is, that is a good one that really is so let me get this right there so all the four plus sets then they none of them come with stickers no stickers they're aimed at people that are probably a bit too young to be applying stickers to their lego sets which works uh, perfectly for me because it means you get some really cool uh disney printed stuff so i'm really cool and then obviously not to mention the uh the new mickey brick that comes in all these four plus sets. Is that, is that what they've actually called that? Is that called the Mickey Brick? I mean, it's I mean, it still wet, isn't it? It's what I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I, your style, tech. If I, if I coined the phrase, then so be it. But uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, you get one in each set uh, and it's a really cool piece to have and I, I can't wait to try and incorporate that into some mocks. And uh, oh so God. going down more of the line of mocks, I also did uh, stop off at the pad wall. Uh, before I did that, i just uh, seen this as well. Because I bought some Disney sets, I actually got oh, this yeah. promo, which was um, Olaf's sled. Pretty cool. Get a little Olaf figure. Again, some cool pieces in that. So probably build Amazing. that and pass it out at some point. Yeah. Um, so That's that really was, nice. I mean, free Lego, free Lego, right? You can't turn down free Lego. Yeah, um, and then, yeah, back to the pebble. So I got some of the, uh, what were you saying? These were olive green, were they? Or dark tan? I can't remember now. And I can't really tell the difference. That's my colorblindness, people. From here, they look like they're olive. 
Okay, yeah, these are the olive green uh, profile bricks. So I've got a whole tub of those. Um, I think I got these because I actually, a couple of weeks ago, got some 1x6 uh, of the same color. So incorporating them into some modular buildings would be good fun. Um, I also topped up this with some more of those. Um, I got some of the uh, light blue 2x4 uh, plates, some uh, dark tan 1x2 bricks, and also some brown uh, tiles at the bottom there, the 2x2 two two round tiles. Um, and then one more cup was just full of uh, the dark tan uh, tiles, the 2x2 the two two tiles, always really good for the mocks. Definitely be yeah. using this when I do some Star Wars mocks in the future. And then my free scoop was dark orange, which is a piece that's very, very, or a color, should I say, that's very expensive at the moment because of how new it is. And uh, yeah, so we got some uh, two by six dark orange pieces. So maybe yeah. a genomosis mock in the future. Who knows? Well, you never know. Oh, honestly, folks, I'm not kidding you. His, his little eyes lit up. I couldn't believe it. He's like, oh my God, they've got this color in. I was like, are they? Well, it was... Anyway, so he's telling me all the spill about how expensive they are at the moment and how certain people that have been out there doing mocks have had to really slim down uh, the, you know, the scale of their mocks simply because, uh, they, you know, the, the affordability of buying that particular colour brick. Now, interestingly, uh, tech, good catch, my friend. Uh, I don't know what happens to me. Whenever I put my Lego pieces precariously over behind me, uh, on the stuff that I buy, I, I, I purposely mount them on top of each other just in case. You never know. A little bit of wobble, they might fall over. It does happen, folks. It creates a little bit of tension. It's what we like, isn't it? Especially on a Lego haul. <laughs> um, so anyway, so like tech then, because I'm actually wanting to get into uh, doing mocks and just building stuff or even taking a template of a certain building, I don't know, say the Bugle or something like that, folks. Use that as a template and just build up something like it. So anyway, so what I did, straight to the pad wall, I was, and I've got myself, first of all, I've got these. Dark tan profile, one by two bricks. And these are brilliant. So I've got a whole, whole large one of those, uh, a big cup of that. And, and I've got these simply because we hadn't seen them any, anywhere else. It was actually a pretty good pad wall. Now, because it was in Leicester Square, you know, the biggest and the best Lego store in the world. They didn't have any profile bricks in there uh, whilst we were in there. So I got myself a whole bunch of those because they're going to be useful, uh, especially for the Gondon. Uh, when I get around to doing some of my own stuff on that. And with that, I got these ones as well. I've got another large pad cup. And that has all these ones in there. That you're kind of a slightly light gray profile bricks. And you can see bricks on there and I always think they look really good I think they used them recently didn't they on the on the chimney uh for the uh, uh the blacksmith shop I think yeah. they used them on that recently um and I think it looks really good it's just nice it just kind of you can take quite a bland looking wall throw a few of those on it you know it gives it a little bit of texture makes it a little bit more interesting to look at um now what are you going to be using your your stuff for anything specific tech or did you just get them because they're kind of good solid bricks to have to hand yeah, they, they're, they're very versatile um, and you just think Star Wars, lots of like the buildings and the architecture in Star Wars is like that kind of tan, uh, you can get the greys, the oranges, um, it, they're all quite natural colours and they're, they're good for landscaping and things like that. So that's why I picked those up. And like you said, those uh, those profile bricks are very hard to find on the pad wall or can be. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's good to pick them up when you can. Yeah, and I think the guy that helped us out on that one uh, was was uh, Mark, wasn't it? It was a guy called Mark. And for my extra scoop, I was a bit naughty, folks. I didn't go for plates. I just went for more of these, in all honesty, because I don't think you can have enough of them. Now, something else you can't have enough of in a city, unless, of course, space is a bit of an issue, but always is, isn't it, really, when you think about it, uh, are modulars. Now, not too long ago, I bought myself the corner garage, right? It's a set I'm yet to build. Nothing new there, though, folks. And it's a set that I saw very recently. Uh, High T Toys and Brixy actually got some instructions. They purchased some instructions from Rebrickable, and they made a pub out of it. I thought, you know what? London, synonymous with pubs. It really is, folks. There must be at least four pubs in London that I know of that, that all apparently say they're the oldest pubs uh, in, in England, but there we go, come to London and you'll know what I'm all about. But anyhow, so I got myself the corner carriage as well. And here it is. Now, normally speaking, 
I kind of show you the set all nicely proud. This is what it looks like. This is how many minifigures it comes with and all that kind of jazz. But it's completely irrelevant, folks, because it isn't going to look anything like this. <laughs> By the time I finished with it, it really won't, <laughs> which probably at my pace will be something like 2025. Um, but anyway, I'll show you off anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying that's a bit too quick for me, Tech? I said, if you're lucky, yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky. But that, that is the set there, folks. Uh, it comes with something like 2,000, oh, it's already there, 2,569 pieces. It's set number 10264. Uh, now, the cool thing with this set, Tech, is that it retails at 160 pounds, I think it is. Nice. But I managed to pick it up for 90 pounds. Now, how on earth? Did I pay 90 quid for it in a Lego store? Well, I'll tell you. I had 70 quid worth of VIP points that I redeemed. So really, 90 quid for 2,500 pieces is pretty good going in anybody's books. And that will be a nice addition to look on them. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And you can follow the channel on Instagram and Twitter. And if you happen to be new around here, then why not hop on and subscribe and become a big part of the LBB family. You can find all the details of Tech Productions channel and his Instagram feeds down in the description below. For now, I'm going to leave you some videos that I think you might like. We're in our live tech. Look at that. Look, look, even you look, even you look big in this. Look at that. Pop a load of that, everyone. You wouldn't see that on your iPhone, would you? <laughs> oh, there he is, look. Have I got your Zoom on this? Oh, I have got Zoom on this as well, look. Here we go, I've got Zoom. I've just discovered the Zoom on it, Tech. You're such a boomer. Say, say, say something to your fans. You're such a boomer, Greg. <laughs> for now, uh, we will bid you all farewell. Take care, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, nice to see you. Adios, and uh, don't forget, Lego. And Lego is a wonderful thing. <laughs> and so are you lovely lot too. Bye for now. Bye. If we change it, you know.